In this video, I am going to discuss past strategy for the subject microprocessors and microcontrollers for S5 KT. So first we can see the guaranteed questions from each of the module. So first module it is 8086 internal architecture. The block diagram showing the bus interface and execution unit. So this is very important question from first module. From second module, the most important question is the 8086 addressing modes, listing, explaining and giving examples for the various addressing modes. Then from third module, it is 8259 PAC architecture and 8086 interrupts. The block diagram of the 8259 programmable interrupt controller and the 8086 interrupt handling process. Then from module 4, 8255 PPI and 8257 BMA architectures the block diagrams and modes of operation for these two peripheral chips. Then module 5, 8051 architecture and memory organization, the block diagram of the 8051 microcontroller and its internal RAM organization. So these five questions are guaranteed questions and very important. Now we can see the module by module path strategy in that from mo module 1, first question it is draw and explain the internal block diagram or architecture of 8056. Then, second question, explain the read or write cycle timing diagrams of 8086 in minimum mode. Then for part A, what is pipelining in 8086, difference between 8086 and 8088, then explain the 8086 flag register. So these are from module 1. Coming to module 2, 8086 addressing modes and programming. In that, the first question it is explain the various addressing modes supported by 8086 with suitable examples. Then, second question is write an 8086 assembly language program. Part three questions are calculate physical address given CS and IP, explain push or pop instructions. We can see module three stack and interrupts. In that, the first question it is the draw the architecture of 82559A and explain its blocks. Second one, explain the interrupt handling process or interrupt cycle of 8086. Third question is, differentiate between maskable and non-maskable interrupts. Part A questions are, what is an interrupt vector table? Distinguish between maskable and non-maskable interrupts. Then module 4, interface in chips. First question, explain the different modes of operation of 8255 PPI with its block diagram. Second one, draw and explain the internal architecture of 8257 DMA controller. Part A questions, what are the functions of control signals in 8255? Features of 8257 DMA controller. Next module 5, microcontrollers. First question, it is explain the internal architecture of the 8051 microcontroller with the need diagram. Second question, explain the internal RAM organization of 8051. Part A questions are explain IO ports in 8051, differentiate move, move C, move X instructions of 8051, format of PSW in 8051. So these are the module wise important questions. Thank you.